Now that is a pizza. Crusty crust on the top. Whoop. Crusty crust on the bottom. I solved my problem with the soggy pizza dough. So let me show you what I suspect the problem was. Now I, I've got this kind of lousy low-end uh, range top and oven and I thought that I would add some thermal mass in the form of bricks and I would cook on these bricks as, as a means of uh, having you know, like a little pizza oven. This is what I had set up. I had these uh, you know concrete bricks, put them on the oven rack and I was setting the oven to, to 450 and I've been doing this now for, it's been a while, it's been uh, Oh well, at least since the beginning of the lockdown, I've been I've been baking on these bricks, and uh, you know my previous calzone Man, videos said, were dependent on this. Actually, now, one of them was cooked and one was frozen, and and what I discovered yeah, back, I don't know if it was really cooked. I think it was actually just a little the bit. The bricks are warm, actually but the insulated. Other ones definitely had cold parts in it, and I thought so, well, yeah, I, was, that I was putting my was uh, damage or uh, something, and then my uh, pans right on the brick. And the first real clue to what happened was I put in uh, fish and chips. So I had uh, you know, frozen fish sticks and, and some uh, tater tots. And I put them in at uh, about 450 for, I think it was maybe 20 minutes. I went a little bit over actually. And when it came out, the fish sticks were still frozen. And last night, I, I made uh, tater tots again to, to go with my uh, meal and the tater tots came out soggy. So I, I came over and I, I set the oven to 450. I let it get up to temperature and let it sit for a little bit. And then I took this uh, laser thermometer and I uh, opened the door, just a little crack, and I measured, I measured the temperature at the bottom and that was getting between 450 and uh, 475 and then I measured the temperature on the brick and on the brick it was at the most 250 degrees Fahrenheit so it, it was at least 200 degrees less on the uh, brick top than it was down below so the, the uh, thermal controller must be down there at the bottom it was getting up to temperature and then uh, heat was escaping up the sides through this, you know, horrid, uh, horridly insulated uh, uh, heater, uh, uh, sorry, uh, oven, and uh, the brick wasn't heating. So I had this thermal gradient, and you know, perhaps if I let it sit a couple hours and, and come to, to thermal equilibrium, that would work. But even then, it, it still might not. It might be something that I, I wind up with just a thermal gradient, and this. Uh, you know, insulation in the middle would still act to insulate the top. So what I did today to make this pizza was I, I took out the brick and I put my pizza on a wire rack. So I cooked the pizza straight on the wire rack and uh, this is a wire rack that I, I got a three pack for I don't know how much it was cheap from Walmart. Uh, this is for grilling and uh, the pizza sat on top and it directly exposed the bottom of the crust to the heating elements and when you start getting up to higher temperatures the thermal conduction is, is primarily through uh, radiant transport so I was basically irradiating the bottom of the crust and it was browning and it turns out it was, it was a great pizza. So I'm going to try this again and uh, when I do this, I'm going to make a calzone and see if I can solve that soggy calzone problem I was having. See if I can get a, a crispy bottom and crispy top of the calzone and keep the uh, uh, sauce, uh, oil, and uh, in this case I've got some uh, dairy-free cheese uh, inside. I also noticed when I, I made that pizza dough that the pizza had fairly large bubbles in it. So I was making my pizza before with a, a fairly thick crust because uh, I thought I needed to do that in order to uh, reinforce it. But now I'm realizing that if I 
uh, use this technique to have a radiant uh, heat transfer to the bottom, it'll cook fast and I don't need as thick of a crust. So I'm going to try making a, a calzone. Uh, again, I'm going to use half a pizza crust and uh, I'm going to pound it out flat or stretch it flat and try to make this as thin of a calzone as I can and see if I can get that to, to cook really fast so that the calzone will be uh, uh, thin, crispy, and uh, cooked on the interior. So I got this stretched out. It's, it's fairly thin. It's maybe an eighth of an inch kind of all around. And I'm going to fill this with uh, sauce and uh, I think I'm going to have I've got some pepperoni and uh, dairy-free cheese. So I've put in, you know, some sauce, uh, pepperoni, uh, dairy-free cheese. I also had a little bit of bacon, so I sliced a piece of bacon up and uh, olives. So I'm going to close this up and uh, see if I can seal it well. Okay, I got it sealed up nicely. It it, it uh, looks quite good. I can tell it's uh, fairly thin, so I'm hoping we can get the crust to cook quickly. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'll transfer it to my wire rack. I'm going to give it a quick uh, brushing of uh, olive oil, see if I get the brown to top, and a little bit of this uh, nice coarse salt to give it some extra salty goodness on the exterior. And then I'm going to throw this in the oven for, uh, well, I'm going to try originally uh, 20 minutes and see if it's done, and uh, I'm setting it at uh, 450. So 20 minutes at 450 uh, is more than enough to have a, a nice crispy exterior. It might even be a little bit too long. Uh, both the top and the bottom are, are well browned. I easily uh, took it off of the uh, uh, fine mesh with a spatula and I'm going to let it sit here and cool for about 10 minutes before I cut into it. Okay, it's been 10 minutes of cooling. Let's see what we've got. Uh, you know, very brown on the outside and the bottom. I uh, possibly overcooked a little bit, but let's cut this and see what the inside is like. Interior is wow, warm and gooey. So this is looking pretty good. So I think what we learned here is that if you have a lousy oven such as mine, which doesn't you know, insulate well, rather than working with a pizza pan or a uh, pizza stone or steel or whatever, get a uh, mesh, and you can probably just buy this at the hardware store. I you know, got this from the grilling section of Walmart, and it was, you know, fairly cheap. They folded the folded the edges over on for me, uh, and use this to uh, cook the bottom of the pizza or the calzone uh, directly with radiant heat, and that seems to be the the trick to having a crispy calzone.